Greetings, Cybers. It's Kuro cool. back with more Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. A lot happened in the last one, and it's hard to get all that into a whole last summary. For one thing, we got to play as Wukumat and totally beat Baku Jaja down, finally, at long last. We completed the... Uh, I can't remember. What was, the, what was that feat called? Uh, whatever it was. The cook, the cooking feat with Kona. And we received the sixth... Yeah, sixth keystone. And we received our third keystone back from Baku Jaja. And then we come to Mamux for the final feat, only for us to be barred, have our way barred by the fact that we can't learn anything about it because citizens won't tell us anything. I mean, that's usually how it goes, but at least give us a hint. But usually just give us a hint or something. We gotta find out the the uh, elector for the feat is Bakul Jaja's father, and because and because of Zarel just. Very aggressive attitude, and Bakul Jaja failing to even get more than two of the keystones. One is disqualified from the Feet of Promise, and the other one is just exiled. Then we learn the truth about what's going on with the blessed siblings, the two heads. And, uh, good lord almighty, how is this... No, one, no wonder y'all isolated this long. Y'all need some help. Which is what we're trying to do now. The Feet of Brotherhood. Well, Clamat is determined to find a solution for Mamuk. I'm sure Siraja will have some will have choice words for us if he knew what we were up to. Yeah. But his people are my people, and I can't ignore their plight. If I'm to call myself Dawn Servant one day, I have to bring an end to the tragedy here, and many are depending on me. Bakul Jaja, not least of all. Yeah, they made up. Bakul Jaja's attitude and the way he was acting was all because of his father and the all, the extreme burden placed on him as the two headed sibling. The Momoja believed themselves to be the one, the one true rulers of Tulial, Tural in general, because, well, look at who we got that's their current ruler now. But the current ruler does not care for that. He doesn't care for just one way to be ruling. He wants everyone to live in peace, live in peace together. That's what the Elector is sort of decided at. Anyway, I'm still calling India. We'll be back with the report soon. Hopefully. We, doing, we listen to the people and act, and I'm going to see what can what little there is we can do. And hopefully this will give us some insights on how we can complete the feats of the Brotherhood. Good, everyone is assembled. In light of our news, I doubted only right to call the others. Hmm. Thanks to the efforts of all, I'm pleased to say our analysis has yielded many valuable insights. And I dare say the prognosis is, ho prognosis is hopeful. Earlier, we asked about the hopes and can place in the bliss of siblings, why they are important to you. Your overwhelming response was a frustration towards this forest. From a lack of natural resources to the inability to cultivate crops, in all respects, have you ever struggled, have you ever struggled to build a prosperous home? Thus, your understandable desire for a new land. Yeah. However, this would be an unfortunate dismissal of what makes your forest uniquely valuable. That is, the soil. Our tests have proven without a doubt that the, G the Jatika heartland is abundantly fertile. This may be surprising to hear as you've seen the crops fail time and time again, but we have discovered the root of this problem as well. 
The meteorites scattered throughout your forest emit an unusual energy that greatly influences the development of surrounding plant life. Some plants thrive on this energy, like the nodule and the giant trees that create the canopy, but others, as you well know, are sickened by it. Fortunately, the solution is simple. Across the salt is a place called Sarlia. There is a peerless collection of flora assembled from every corner of the world. Now that we know what energies are most prevalent in your forest, we can offer you seeds and starters guaranteed to thrive here. I took the liberty of contacting a few colleagues via Link Pearl. Should you desire them, a sample of our best candidates can be sipped here in sort of order. Just as in, just as Ayoja acquired the Popoto and Tometo from Turao, so too might Mamok benefit from foreign crops. You mean we'd be able to grow more than the Najul here? Precisely. While care must be taken to choose these those species that will not have an adverse effect on the ecosystem, your agricultural options should increase market marketably. With the right crops, Mamuk will have all it needs to prosper, both at home and in trade. Blessed siblings don't have to answer any anymore. Then there was never any need to fight? Never any need to sacrifice. We can't change the past, but we can try to make the be future better. Hearing that coming from him is astonishing. Let the old teachings end with us. I know blessed siblings represent absolute strength to you. Letting go of that idea can't be easy. And it won't be easy. But I'll prove that when we work together, a combined strength can achieve anything. So us, promise. If there is another way for our children and our home, we'll no longer suffer in silence. Sometimes we have to fight alone, but not this time. Will you save you watch Kokoso? If I must. What to say here? Commander's proof of that. Seeking the star. And light against darkness. Anything is possible when you work together. Our victory over the Valley Garmanda is proof of that. The sky ruin? The great Gulu Jaja himself struggled to even seal it. We've said what we wanted to say. And all that's left is to defeat my father's Sade in fear in defeat of the Brotherhood and clear the way from a Mook's bright new future. Something that tells me is not so simple. Do not give us a cause to question our faith in you. Please, live up to your words. I will. Something tells you the feat of Brotherhood is not going to be that simple. If someone like Zeralja couldn't beat it, I'm thinking that maybe it can't be done solo. The feat of Brotherhood, what if you have to fight fight it alongside someone else? What if that's it? After we complete the suite, let's be sure to tell Zerezia the good news about his forest. I'm sure he'll be, he's eager as anyone to eat what tasty food still grow here. Hopefully. Compassion even for the likes of him. He continue to get, continue to eclipse me in every, eclipse me in every way. And it is a simple choice. We are counting on you, Wolf Lamatt. <sighs> we won't let this go to waste, Bakul Jaja. Can't believe I'm saying that to him. Jeez, this game really, this game really makes you have to feel for characters you want to hate. This happened with me with Emmett Silk. It's happened again with, uh, 
Nope, that's it. Just make silk. <laughs> I felt no. I didn't feel this way anyone else. What could have gone on ahead to announce her readiness? I've never imagined the samples we so variously collected for the Exodus would go find new promise here. But if they help these people improve their prospects, all the better. Anyway, we should, head in, we should go and meet our comrades where Zeralja made his own attempt. The final feat awaits. Right. It's time we finish this. Finally finish the Rider Success and get that last keystone and hopefully, hopefully, find our way to the Golden City. If it exists. And maybe even find out a little something more about Kyle's grandfather, because that's part of the reasons he's here in the first place. In this instance, well, like you're gonna have to fight as Wolfram Matt again, which I have no problems with. I enjoyed it the first time, I'm gonna enjoy it the second time. This feat may bring us closer to the Golden City, but for now, we must stand strong for the people of Mok. I can offer more support at best, for whatever it's worth. Good luck. So, well, just intention was for the feat to prove the supremacy of blessed siblings. Wolfram Matt shall instead prove that there are other ways for Mok's people to empower themselves. Where did Kona go? Have you seen him? Good question, where did he go? Someone has gone to fetch Cereza. He should be here soon. Upon proceeding, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to read these cutscenes in their entirety. No problem! I'm pretty sure it's just Zerelja, I'm ready for the final feat. <laughs> Grown weary of postponing the inevitable, have you? <laughs> Something like that. You see, I've learned all sorts of things about Mamuk and your people. Quite a lot. Is that supposed to impress me? I now understand why I need to surpass blessed siblings. The cost of producing superior offspring is destroying your people's souls. Look at them, and you'll see this. So I'll defeat my father's shade and prove to you that there's a better path for Mamuk. What drivel? Without the blessed, we are nothing but weaklings. Dude, to fade into obscurity. So you think. Of course you are weak. We all are. Each and every one of us. But when we join hands, we gain the strength to overcome any foe. Even Vali Yarmanda. Enough talk. Prove your metal. Against Gulul Jaja, the finest warrior ever to have grace to rule. Fine by me. Not even Papa's shade will stop me from upholding his legacy. I will fight alongside her. Ah, yeah, that's so. Claimants, 
are not permitted to assist one another. Second promise. Mm -hmm. But you may observe your sister's pitiable attempt. <sighs> I see. In that case... Hmm? What the hell? It seems I'm no longer a claimant. I am now free to participate, I trust. Did he want to take himself out of running to... What are you scheming? Nothing. I've simply come to realize who is worthy of following in father's footsteps. <laughs> not our brother. Not a cool Jaja. And not me. You have always held the happiness of our people closest to your heart, Namachi. So I will do everything in my power to ensure you ascend to the throne. This is how I shall repay father for his kindness. This is how I shall serve Tuli Yolal. Okay, we can, okay, we get it. I want to play as Kona now. You, Kona. I played it as Messina, so I can handle playing this now. <laughs> it will make no difference. Numbers matter not in the face of true might. Gulul Jaja, mightiest of the blessed. Arise! Let's do this then. This time it's both heads. This is him at his full strength. Everyone ready? <laughs> I mean, if ma numbers matter not. And of course, Aaronville providing more support. Feelings, Papa. I got a lot of hopes <laughs> riding on my shoulders, and the only way forward is through you. Let's do this. Beauty commence. Be Guru Jaja's glory. Oh, jeez. Where's the surrounding? Oh, no. Kona, move! But this match is incredible. Watch it detect three of his blades. Got it. No mercy, eh? Oh, wow, we're seeing the wrath of the reason head, too. Ow. It's just that. Okay, get on this side first. And the other side. Really bringing his all to bear, isn't he? Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, no. Oh no! Take that! Get in the circle! Get in the circle! Spread out! What a chore! Ever hungry for battle! Look at Matt! Go 
forth. Oh, very bastard. <laughs> it's far different from, his, from the real one's fight. How is this? Oh, it's fine. Uh oh. That's probably. He's getting a ritual flame. That's a problem. Some manner of paralyzing effect. Defend the afflicted. Hang on. We must free them. Target the constricting flames. Working on it. Come on, get up on my flames. Come on, damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on up. Whoa. Oh, nice. We shall try it. There. Take it free. Off nose free. And we're on this free. Move! Come on. Not done yet. Star. Not at the skin. Son of a bitch, that hurt. Someone heal Cryo! Come on! Let's heal Flame. Oh, this again. Because I'm going to follow everyone else. And that was the, oh, it is again. Oh, my dad had to take away my gap closer. I needed that. It makes this fight so much easier. I know not who you are. I am blood to nothing. As you said. Surely this will quench your thirst for battle. Oh, now what's he doing? Ah! Oh no. Resolve the Rinsen Kindal. That's a problem. My Prince of Ruff is sundered. Oh crap. That's a problem. Strength to stand up to this. I oh, know you don't. Dark missionary. Parts of Tyrell. Oh, she's limit breaking. Done, servant. Sit. I will protect my people. Hold steady. We're alive. <laughs> Is that the best <laughs> you can do? But I'm not finished yet. Didn't think we it would be. Yeah, 
he's done playing around. But we're almost done feeding. Down! Duty complete. <sighs> oh, that was amazing. <sighs> That's my old man for you. Oh, Lord. I can barely handle him solo. To accept this. Yeah, of course you would. Ain't that a bit stubborn? Even for you. Huh? Well, who's Arugadin? It couldn't be. Is it? Tankwa! It's been too long. Tankwa? It has indeed. You are looking more imposing since last I saw you, Wuklamat. Tonkwa? My Turali moniker. Galul Jaja insisted I take one, saying my birth name was too cumbersome for the local tongues. That birth name being Ketanram, I presume? Wait. No! <laughs> Ketanram's that legendary Eorzean sailor. The one with the pickled cabbage. We can talk about me cabbage later. <laughs> this is Ketanram? Holy shit. <laughs> Zarelja, whether you like it or no, these young'uns accomplished the feat. To deny Wuklamat her reward would be to betray the Dawn Servant's trust. And what should she be rewarded for? Calling upon her minions to carry her to victory! You the art to write of my mouth. So some dignity. I don't have dignity. Not anymore. I wagered everything on this feat. And by the same token, I understand the enormity of your accomplishment. Together, we can achieve anything. You needn't place your faith in the promise of blessed siblings. How would you have us reclaim our glory? <laughs> well, being less of a dick could help. With friendship and community. With us. If you mean to rule, you should be more sparing with your offers of clemency. Especially to a man who has sacrificed countless young lives. Nevertheless, I will fulfill my charge as Elector. In recognition of your feet, I bestow upon you a keystone. Hmm. 
That's the last one. Congratulations are nearly in order, I suppose. I'm confident that you will find the Golden City in no time. Right, finding the keystones is enough. You've grown enough. much and more during this journey. Become someone ready to lead our nation. Little Lamachi no longer. As your brother, I couldn't be more proud. Kona. <laughs> Thank you. So much for the invasion plan. I must express my gratitude for your cooperation. And my regret for failing to live up to expectations. Nonsense. If you believe Wout Lamart is the woman for the job, then you have our wholehearted support. One last thing. I wish to speak to you both from the heart. Unpracticed as I am, this may sound hackneyed, but... You're gonna be that bad. I am truly grateful to have met you. <laughs> <laughs> Words spoken with such feeling would resonate with any fortunate enough to hear them. Though our journey together hath ended, ever shall we cherish the memories. Aye. And should you require further esoteric musings or biting witticisms, don't hesitate to call. I dare say we'll come flocking. I speak from experience, they will. <laughs> but I get ahead of myself. As I recall, our contract remains in effect until we've escorted the Second Promise back to the capital. I leave my sister in your capable hands. See that she returns home safely. Of course. You've still moms to go yet, Wuklama. The right ain't over till you find the city of gold. I know. But if I can come this far, I can go all the way. That was fun. So I do I am by this outcome. I'm also eager to speak with Ketz and Rem while we have the chance. Right? The second promise has formed a great deal since we first met him. I dare say that wise and witty duo has been no of no little influence. <laughs> you got that right. Haven't spent enough time with Dosu? I know they have something to do with it. Even as I say, the Dawn Servant's strength was incredible. I started to imagine how we might have fared without the second promise's support. I'm glad to see you all remain in one piece. I'd like a bit not like a bit of a bit of hardship to see your precious children go into fine middles. Indeed. I will not stand in your way. But mark me, your victory does not afford you authority to dictate our future. We will decide what's best for Mamuk, no one else. Fair enough. Let's go and tell the people of our victory. Good promise. You bought everyone? We were just coming to you. We did it, Milita. We proved to, to the Atarods that not even my father's full power could overcome the strength of our fellowship. I knew you would. I was right to trust you. You fulfilled your promise. Now it's our turn. You've shown us another way. That we could build the lives we've always wanted. 
here in our homeland without sacrifice. Since our new crops will come from across the salt, I suppose we will have to treat with outsiders as equals, of course. I guess that'll take some time to get used to, won't it? Inside or outside, we're all just people, no matter what we look like or where we're born. When you're not used to all the color and variety, differences can feel like obstacles. But learning about more about what makes us different, we can also find common ground in places we never expected. Something new may become something you love. And someone you once hated might one day become your friend. I speak from personal experience on that last one. How many times have I fought people in this game and end up they end up becoming an ally? You never know unless you keep an open mind. And while it may feel scary, taking that first step towards understanding is always worth it. <laughs> of course, learning about outsiders may help may well help my look grow. But what happens when they learn about us? About what we've done? They will not. Generations, our covenant has been kept secret, so and so it shall remain. The atrocities committed here were facilitated by the Arturats. We and no one else are responsible. For my deeds, I am prepared to forfeit my life, but I will not suffer others to be damned alongside me. No one's being damned, and your life isn't forfeit. The last thing the city needs is more death. But Kul Jaja hasn't fought this hard for this long only to lose his father. If you truly feel responsible, be the first person to extend understanding to others on behalf of Mamuk. Your community is waiting for you, here and in Tuliyal. You can still make things right, my love. Choose a different side of history. Thank you, Third Promise. Thank you for everything. <sighs> you still owe me an explanation about that cabbage, you know. <laughs> Everyone let that go, are you? People of Mamuk have accepted you. Merchants and vendors are now available to use for use. Oh, finally! Uh, I was getting tired of having to walk all the way freaking back to the other side of this map for just for that. We ought to speak to Kitchen Ram before we do anything else. Of all the things I expected to discover in Tyrell, the Eorzea's most legendary sailor was not among them. Right? It's too late to let go of prejudice, no matter how difficult it may seem, it can be done. This is my first time meeting Kitten Ram, a Wogadon, Wogadon if I ever saw one. Tanqua does look similar to some of the Eorzean sailors I've seen, but ne I never would have guessed he was Kitten Ram. Woe to the Golden City. Kitten Ram, living legend and Eorzean explorer extraordinaire, would like to chat. This ain't no place for a puppet chat. The captain's just north of the city, blue eyes abode, as people appear called on the count of more dazzling twinkles. Uh-huh. <laughs> I started to like this guy already. And then I gotta do this side quest to unlock the last remaining... Uh... Ether currents, I'll do that later. One coin, going to story. We finally have all the keystones, we just, we're, and we're we finally met Keaton Ram. We are close to finding this golden city, I know it.
Yeah, how'd I get up there to where you were? Where's the all at? There's not any, like there's a staircase. <laughs> uh, good thing I have a map to, to get some grasp of where I'm going. Upon Keaton Ram's disappearance, explorers from across the U.S. have banded together in search of him. But, n but I doubt they ever thought to look here. True. I wonder how long it's been since he settled down here. This man values his privacy. A rather humble residence for a legendary explorer. I would have expected a man to decorate it with, with exotic treasures. Yeah, I guess he's a minimalist. Nothing wrong with that. Not but four walls and a roof. But enough talk. For most folk, but not for most folk. Make yourselves comfortable. Why did you choose to settle down in Mamuk? You haven't exactly been welcoming to outsiders, legendary explorer or otherwise. All the more reason to keep a withering eye on them. Though seeing how you've won them, how you've won them over, he thinks I've, I'll have less need for vigilance. I'm here on, at Bakul, I'm here at Gulul Jaja's behest to ensure his hard-won peace is kept, and incidentally, to remind Zirelja of his duty as a lector, should he have forgotten it. My old man ordered you to stay here. There's no way to treat a honored guest. <laughs> Not saying I'm more than your father's guest by now. Or well, didn't you see the sculptures atop Warcom Zorma? That's right. Keaton Ram was one of the names. Your father and I fought soldier to soldier in many a battle, while Garmanda being but one of our triumphs. He and I are brothers. So when your brother tells you to stand watch, you stand watch. You trust in his judgment and his strength of will, even if that means you have to sit out the occasional scrap. <laughs> Surely you understand such a bond, surrounded as you are by all these bright and eager faces. I do. My comrades are my strength. And it's thanks to them that I understand Papa's hopes for this nation, what I must continue to protect. Improve your readiness for the drawing, Mugulmat. Find the Golden City. Oh, I will. These ones beside me even uncovering a legend to be child's play. Especially since I believe I already have. Oh? Well, all by yourself? How? When? Well, as you know, electors are forbidden from giving unfair advantage to claimants. So when Hanmu Ruik refused to divulge why my grandfather passed through Ikbarak's twenty years ago, his silence spoke volumes. You think Galo's visit had something to do with the Golden City? Precisely. Moreover, only the Yakhoi who lived in Yaktiel ever dreamt of those golden dreams. When exposed to certain triggers, those with magic magical aptitude have been known to receive visions. Visions. Wait, are you saying like the echo and the blessing of light? If Gafurla's abilities are all that apprehensive, the Yakoi are no stranger to the arcane. Which means the dreamers of elves like the older experiences to their inherent abilities and their proximity to the city itself, here in the for in these forests. Then all we need to do is search Yaktiel from top to bottom, right? It would behoove us to try and narrow our focus. To that end, I propose we return to Mamuk and make inquiries. While here, we can all take the opportunity to see any necessary travel preparations. When everyone is ready, let us assemble at the Etherite. Kasiwa's boy, ain't he? I don't know how to pronounce that name. 
told me about you. Said it's tea te testy you find it in the Golden City. Really? Are you supposed to find it too? I, I might even succeed despite my best efforts. I have begun to think it was a fool's errand. My own fruitless search in my youth proved as much. Yet here you are, older and wiser, playing the fool again. <laughs> Courtesy of the company I have been keeping, perhaps. Wookla Matt's not the only one to have grown thanks to her comrades. We'll find it. Together. Hmm. <laughs> Was I ever that young? <laughs> I like this guy. Turn like like behind. <laughs> of course, I'd be waiting for him. I know better than to leave someone behind when they're not travel when they're not right behind me. He waited for me. It seems Kitten Ram knows my mentor, so we chatted for a bit longer. Alpha note said to me by the etherite, so I'll see you there. All right. Now we wait. Merchants were happy, more than happy to mend my gear and see some supplies. I think I'd probably mend my own gear too. One would hardly believe that they were ever averse to aiding visitors. <laughs> you won't believe how many Najul they gave me. Now all we need is a hint of them. Point us in the right direction. City of gold, here we come. I think I can offer that much. Milita, Sereza. I have an inkling of where the Golden City might be. Elijah, and Zerelta, you've come to help us. As an, as an elector, I am forbidden from speaking of the Golden City. But my wife is beholden to no such constrictions. <laughs> right, loopholes. And anything you can tell us would be greatly appreciated. Our people have lived here for centuries. There is no corner of the stored forest you don't, do not intimately know, save for one. Do you recall the place I showed you, where my son confessed the truth of the Blessed Siblings? That stone pier stands at the entrance of the sky's deep Kenata, the final resting place for children we lost to our sail tree. Zilotri. Precious few are permitted beyond the cenotaph, the cenotaph doors, and we have not explored its deepest recesses. If the Golden City is in Yaktiel, it may well be hidden there. Will you permit us to search for it? I have no reason to refuse. No longer will we rely on blessed siblings, nor will we conceal the sacrifices made to conceal them. The Kenote is no longer under our protection. It is a dismal burial ground, and our children deserve better. Their bodies will be moved to a place of comfort and peace. Well, that's good then. I'm super cool that I would appreciate that, and we're here to offer any help if you need it. My father also visited the Kenote from the Nicobet. 
It was many years ago by now, but the notable affair due to the foreigner he brought with him. A mate of me. Galov. Truly. The Don Servant did not disclose his reasons, but he descended past our kinotaph into the old Yakoi quarries. Doubtless the very same ones excavated by Vorpalor's dreamers. Then the Golden City must be there. In the depths of the sky's deep kennotech. Thank you, both of you. We'll set out straight away. You will find a winged beast or two lingering in dark drag descent. It will carry you below. I believe in you, Dirt Promise. You will make a magnificent dawn serpent. Everyone, to disguise the deep kennotech. Like the imposing beast. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, I'm always on the way over there, and I can't fly yet. There's gonna be quite a walk. Not nearby either right to use either. Why so far away? Ah, uh -huh. at least the ambient music is actually engaging. I like and it's always a little public. Why do I keep comparing these two games? I don't know. Probably the reason why I'm taking a break from that game this week. And possibly next week, to be honest. A big squirrel. I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. how I start sorry using Dark Knight for the rest of this playthrough. Just because I wanted to be a full job job myself. Only for him to turn over a new leaf in the end. Just I decided to do it too. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> but Conus after running, Pakul Jaja is staying right for two, and Zeraja is disqualified. So something tells me his little his little um servant or retainer, wherever the hell that guy is, Sorelja, is not just going to take that line down. He's scheming something. I don't know what, but it's going to be bad. With a powerful leap, the beast takes flight. Ooh, eerie.
we are. This is the Cenopath. Or Kenopath. Whatever you want to pronounce it. Which means that beyond these stores is. Right to right English work with me! Right of succession or no, disturbing the souls that rest here feels wrong. I know, but I can't turn back. Let's pay, let's pay our respects at the very least. Let's go. I'm ready to complete my journey. This is a disguised deep canopy now accessible. Yeah, we were pretty overdue for another dungeon. But I will not be doing this as a tank because I want to be doing this to do the trust and all that. So let me switch to. I haven't played Weeper in a while. Let me play this as a Weeper. I don't know what's going, what's down there, but I'm eager to see it with my own eyes. Wookie Boo, Mayblu, so many people have helped us reach this moment. Let us honor their generosity and find the Golden City at last. I confess, I anticipated my duty as a guide with no, with, with no little weariness. I knew a journey might change the course of my nation, but I did not think it would change the course of my own life. Xenotaps are notorious for attracting malefic creatures. We must exercise all to caution. Part of me is sad to see our journey's end, but I have to see what's waiting for us in there. What's going on in? Go on in, then. Uh, of course I'm with the map of the tank. I've not our only healer. Mmm. I wanna keep I I wanna keep prowling this party, sorry I was like We waited this long to get this girl get, to get this girl in a, in fights with us. I'm having her at, with fight with me as long as I can. Yuck Terrell, the Sky Deep Kenotech. Or Sinotech, I don't know. I can't about mouth of creatures already. You commenced. Let's go, everyone. Stay on your guard. There's no telling what we might be coming. Need to stab horrors? Look at all these roots.
beneath the water. We want to get these children. Not happen. <sighs> it's a very morbid place if you think about it. And we've done to more and we've done more we've done to this in this game four. Yes. Have the undead. So we can't use like we seem for everything else. There's no. I really like this side. I keep forgetting to use this thing. Soul Cell. Soul Cell. Sal. I haven't pronounced it. I think it's Sal. Stingray. Or a feather ray, to more, but we want to be more precise. There it is, we have to fight. to your party. What? What did you just do? Ah. So the attacks are coordinated. Let's not get one down. How are we supposed to avoid that? I think we give a fight a cheap physical hotel. We just copy as bubbles. Oh dear, that's bubbles. Ow. And they inflict vulnerability, of course it is. Oh 
Um. Oh. Okay. No. Okay, that moves the ball. That's no. I know. That. See what's happening here. Okay, that's me. Problem. God damn it. I can't get the whole nuisance area. Teammates think. Oh, come on now. I really dodged that last bubble. Thank you for helping out with the IMO. Bubbles, why? I hate these bubbles. Bah! Okay, that's going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. Because I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid the bubbles while trying not to hit anyone with the bubbles. This gotta be the hardest one so far. This is the first boss for God's sakes. How are we supposed to avoid that? How? I, I, I don't see how. Here comes the annoying ass bubble. Okay. 
damn bubbles. There. Oh. Moving on. Sky Deep Fires of Cast. I think this is the way to go. Is it? Uh, yeah, apparently it is. Uh, I'm good. Miner's mark. Ah, why? Fucking sit. What about you? You record him. I'll just be back here. Die, 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 already, die! Okay, moving on. Snakes. Honestly, I can handle snakes. Sky deep cobras. And the sky deep living rock. Arise, eliminate the rats. I knew it, it's a trap. What's it's a trap? It's always a trap. Smear them to a pulp. Rude.
one. Silence. Focus on falling. Activate the firearms. Firearms. This guy deep rooms with aiming. Oh, those firearms. The next boss. Regular metal grounds. Regard. Pouring gates. Firearms is risen. The other one just hopped right in. Firearms. Okay then. Haha, <laughs> such power! Destroy, destroy, destroy! Someone sounds crazy! By intention, sledge, intruders be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone! See that coming. What even bounced off from? You'll not escape this. What's he doing? Ow! That hurt. And I got two stacks of vulnerability. Very lovely. Beneath my full might. Die, die, die! <gasps> Where's he aiming? Oh, come on now! I'm good here. I think I am. Yeah, I'm good. Hello, Stella Nova. Sorry. Kind of hard to pay attention to chat right now. Oh god damn it! How did I survive that last hit? I'll never know, and nor do I care. And I messed up my combo. Great. I really do not like this boss. Ow! Son of a bitch! Okay, we managed to survive that on the first try. I don't know how. Sky Deep Arm Guards are uh, striking. Okay. <sighs> Getting close. Just gotta continue on into whatever the hell this is. The glowing stone. It's an infused with ether. It is some wacky ass ether.
more left. Come on. Oh, this is going so much smoother if my NPCs are used to AoEs, Cryo! <sighs> okay. But yeah, this is looking a bit more futuristic looking. What is going on with this? Kenota. I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know. Holy hell! What am I looking at? What? Oh my... Wow, okay. This guy did bring a casting. This almost reminds me of... Uh... This almost reminds me of some elegant technology. Is, it... Is this place reminiscent to it? I wonder. Hulking axe hammer will just went to hell. Sky deep, sky deep stone mason. Sky deep necklace of flame. Is that something what I got? It's this, I'm wearing a quick down. It does feel like this place is similar to elegant technology in a way. At the same time, we know it isn't. But I don't think anyone from ancient Alec has been anywhere near Tulia or Thrall in general. Maybe they have, and we don't know it. The Alec Empire is always been iffy. my favorite gameplay? Uh, more or less. I've been, I was skeptical, when I first started Final Fantasy XIV, I was extremely skeptical of it, especially considering it was a pay-to-play MMO. But after I got into the first expansion, I could not stop playing it. The second expansion felt a bit dragged on, but it got better over time. Okay, so what's the final boss of this dungeon? What are we dealing with here? Hello there! What is that? Sculpture of Silence. Mile Skull. Mile Skull. Just what is this place? Gatekeep's Anvil. It's huge! Time to test our metal then. I don't think I'll be able to hit resistance on this thing. So when in doubt, shoot north. Moscow draws power into its fist. I 
I think it's going to hit you from the right. Or, right, it's going to hit you left, right first, then left. Got it. That one's easy to tell. It's going to get harder from here. Oh, boy. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt more. Well, oh, crap. <laughs> okay, then. Well, guys, oh, that's going to be difficult. Let's try that again. Take two. Okay, we're good. Hold up. Maybe these AOEs hit first. That would be me. Um, what is this that? Oh! Oh boy! Move, move, move! Uh, what does that mean? Oh, that's what it means! That was close. Try this. Stack. Totem no less. Ow. 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 I'll oh, have this crap again. Okay, doing that with the knockback too? You are out of your mind. But I guess you don't care. Move. Tank Buster. Oh no. Well, that's going to be a problem. And it's going to be a bigger problem. Move. Oh, not making this any easier on us, can you? Oh, come on now! Work, I can't crest! Stop taunting this thing. I don't think so. 
Let me break. Late dance! Son of a bitch. Okay, what was the knockback on that? I did not see it. I did not see the knockback on that. Damn it. Right out, I had a limit break ready. Okay, take three. I got cocky. That was my problem. I, I, I went for greed. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that. That was my own fault. Let's try again. Okay, I got locked in. Can't be... Can't be talking too much this time. Got locked in. Yep, all the NPCs. I don't know why I'm not doing that. I need to be using some more to get my maximum uh, output on the EPS. You can't hit the system to fight like this. Up going on 10%. Didn't make it this time. Can't be greedy this time. Maybe I can hit this time. Great. There. Ah. Oh. There we go. 
for chance to dream three. Oh. Duty complete. <laughs> <sighs> that might. Unless you're pretty deep on the ground by now. I've never seen me place like this before. Then that must be. Oh, but oh, I didn't see yours. Or I did, but I couldn't read yours. What the hell is this? Oh, well. Sky Deep, Mana Tricker, and Sky Deep Global Healing. Oh, got a new weapon for him. Oh, that's for Gunbreaker. Ugh. I'll play Gunbreaker. I'll sell it later. What is this? I thought this place was of your queen origin. But is this glowing stone their creation as well? Hmm. Good question. I don't believe so. I've never seen anything like it. Then it's from an even older time. Don't tell me it's the Allegans again. While careful study would be required to confirm, it does not appear to be reminiscent of their designs. Do we really find the entrance to it? There's something on the other side, but how did we get over there? Good question. Oh, I think that's how. Well, here's the answer. <laughs> That's how, apparently. Right then, let's go and take a look. Need to waste time. Finally here at last. Australian ran all over it then? How does the hell does that work? How do we open it? I get the feeling we're going to this.
The keystones. The tablets. Your tablets might be a good fit, wouldn't you say? on the other side. Whoa. This gotta be it. This gotta be the gate to the Golden City. Is this it? Is it Golden City? Why is it that ancient structures and fantasy worlds always look advanced? Some resemblance. It doesn't quite live up to what the Yokui described from their dreams. It's only just the entrance. He came all this way? You, my dear daughter, have found the entrance to the city of gold and triumphed in the reign of secession. So we really did it. <laughs> we really did it. So we did it. Anything we've seen in Tural. Never mind the peculiar stone. And then there's that door. So I am given to wonder what exactly lies beyond that gate. Nothing less than the Golden City of Legend, I assure you. The circumstance prevents us from opening the gate. As to what the city is and what Gall of Maldesium discovered all those years ago. This knowledge and more I will share with you after your ascension. What you choose to do with it will be up to you. <laughs> It took a while, but I finally found it. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Come! Let us return to Duliola. Yep, let's go. Home at last. I 
understand now why the students of Valdesian were participants. But why were my grandfather's findings? What were my grandfather's findings? Not only regarding that stone, but that gate. It feels as though we have more questions than we set out with. But for now, returning in one piece is cause enough for celebration. Yep! That was so wholly unlike what I imagined in my youth. Since when did a place like that exist in Yaktara? Well, we've done it. We've seen Wukla Maths a victory and the rise of success. Like me, I expect you have no few questions about Golden City. But they must wait until our claimants have settled into our new role. Even as we speak, she prepares for the ascension ceremony back at the palace. I'm given to understand it will be held in a few days' time. In the meantime, let's all enjoy some well deserved rest. Free. When I enter Skadi Kenote with the NPC and everything, yep, you know. Upon speaking with Pesipa, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It's recommended you set aside some sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Dawn of a new tomorrow. Oh, hold on, let me put it back to Dark Knight. <laughs> there we go. Dawn of a new tomorrow. Welcome back, and may I congratulate you on your and Wickle Mad's victory in the right of success. It is our great honor to host the comrades of our future crown servant. Such a grand journey has doubtless set you fatigued. Please relax and enjoy your stay. Mind if I do. Sometime later. Hmm? Connor. Surprised to see me. I suppose it's only natural. A little bit, yep. May I come in? Sure. I haven't properly thanked you. Thank me? For what? That my sister was able to realize her potential and testament is testament to the quality of her traveling companions, particularly you. For that, you have my heartfelt gratitude. <laughs> I only did what you might have done in my position. Yeah, Wiggle Matt did all the work. I was just moral support. Right. My whole thing with this expansion was that it was less about trying to protect the fate of the world or the fate of a nation from disaster, as they have done time and time again. This time, this was just something else entirely. This was just trying to help with the succession of a future ruler. And this was a lot... This is a lot more... A lot less stressful compared to everything in the past. And for that, I'm thankful. My primary business is calling and calling is to deliver a message from Lamity. As you well know, after the ascension ceremony, she will officially take up the mantle of Dawn Servant. She has expressed a desire for you to keep your post within her... For you to keep a post within her administration. While making no mention of me. Mm-hmm. Really? You needn't decide immediately. My sister will broach the matter with you again after the ceremony. Whether you continue to assist Lamity or not, it's up to you. Oh, I'm going to. I've gone this far. This is all. If you'll excuse me. You have become someone irre irreplaceable to her. As her brother, I acknowledge that with no little jealousy. <laughs> but believe me when I say that I hope you will stay by her side. You have no worries there.
<sighs> and thus it arrived. The day of the Dawn Serpent Ascension Ceremony. What a crowd! As befits the changing of Dawn Servants. Yep. It's only right. Someone looking up under their soldiers or something. <laughs> it's starting. The dawn servant. Look, he's here. The head of reason is resting again. Thought he'd grace us for this occasion at least. People of Tuliolal, you honor us with your presence. For on this auspicious day, we witness the tasking of one era and the dawning of the next. The succession of Dawn Servants. <laughs> but I've talked for long enough. <laughs> Allow me to present the claimant, whose determination, wisdom, and compassion guided them to triumph and the city of gold. My daughter, Wook Lamott. <laughs> huzzah! Huzzah! Long live the Dawn Servant! Long live Tuli Yolal! Growing up in this city, I used to think I knew all there was to know about Tuli Yolal. But my journey showed me how much I had yet to learn about the cultures, histories, and aspirations of this nation. To the time-honored Ichana, the Hanuhanu taught me how they nourish and cultivate both the land and their bonds with visitors. And with their alpacas and trade craft, the Pelupelu showed me the depths of their patience and fortitude to know when to push through and when not to push your luck. <laughs> From the Moblins and their artisans, I gained insight into the power of creativity that it is when we are filled with passion and bolstered by the support of others that we produce our best works. I was moved by the history and hopes of the Yokhui, who believe that death isn't the end, that we live on so long as we remember it. I felt joy and harmony in Yaktel when I tasted Shebruk Bibil, the dish that marked the beginning of peace between the Shebral and Mamuja after centuries of warfare. And I felt sorrow in Mamuk when I met with those who placed their faith in the promise of blessed siblings and for this were burdened with great suffering. 
Through the understanding we forged, I'm hopeful that they will find what they seek through friendship and community. For we are all Turali. Understanding with Mamouk? What sorcery did she use on them? <laughs> All of which is to say that, as I've come to know our nation, I've seen the ways in which we thrive, and the ways in which we still struggle. Some in Kozamalka must resort to banditry to survive. A faction of Yokhui still cling to dreams of conquest. Not everyone lives in peace and plenty. And there's still so much of Tulihyolol I don't know. Places I haven't seen, and people I haven't met. That's why I hope to keep learning about and from you. That we might build a nation where everyone knows happiness. Oops. Because if there's one thing my journey has taught me, it's that your happiness is my happiness! <laughs> ah. Long live Tuli Yolau's new dawn servant. I say mine, but the dawn servant doesn't need to be a single person, does it? Hmm? What does she mean? Oh dear. What is she doing? <laughs> I love that reaction. Yeah. What is she doing? <laughs> My father led Tuli Hyolao to prosperity by the resolve and reason of his two heads. As I say, two heads are better than one. But my one head can only get us so far. To further change our nation for the better, I'll need someone else. Someone with the knowledge and insight that I lack. <laughs> I see where this is going now. So what do you say? Be done servant with me, Kona. <laughs> the flabby has a look on his face. Take resolve. Together, we make a full dawn servant. I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> You'll have no objections from me, of course. <laughs> of course, he's with the idea. But mine is not the approval you need. During my time abroad, I experienced the benefits of foreign technologies, some of which I introduced to our nation. Dirigibles now soar the sky in the south, while locomotives traverse the land in the north. I was convinced that by imitating foreign powers, we could assert our strength and thereby deter invasion. Yet despite my intentions, I failed to understand what I was too eager to cast aside, and the very people I wished to protect.
my own journey has taught me that culture isn't a hindrance to progress, but a shared value that binds us, connecting lives and generations. With your blessing, I vow to help Tuli Yolal prosper in a way that honors the hopes and heritage of all her peoples. My esteemed predecessor would accept nothing less. For ultimately, I harbor the same wish as my sister, to give you cause to smile. That is my heartfelt desire. Seems the people are in, agree are in agreement. <laughs> Glad this didn't go to waste. What did you do? Is the lay of legacy, the part of the Tuli Hyola saga where you and I become the next Don servant? <laughs> well, it's a good thing that didn't go to waste. How long did you have to prepare that? Good heavens! Don't tell me this is what kept you so busy ahead of the ceremony. Just so you know, I didn't decide this on a whim. After reflecting on all we've been through, I realized it was the only answer. With this, both my brother and I have worthy successors. He would have been proud. Is no longer with us. He has been sleeping. He's oh, been tragic tidings. So that's why he's been quiet. I didn't want to believe it. I'm sorry I never told you. We wanted the people to rest easy until our successor could be chosen. Planning the right was my brother's final duty. He was determined for it to serve the nation's best interests and labored nigh without cease. And then he died, forcing me to do the actual work. A sneaky bastard. But he did well. I have to give him that. The outcome speaks for itself. Yep. Though not quite to the original script, your new dawn servant rises. May they shine resplendent, and their rule bring light ever greater to Tuliolo.
Detective Beeson was very wise indeed to devise something so elaborate and meaningful as the right of successor. It's the same, he could not be here to bear witness to the end. Yep. A bit of sweet celebration to be sure, but I'm glad Wilco Matt finally got the recognition he deserves. Because he might have told someone what he was planning. But Wilco Matt does not act without the best interest of her people in mind. Wilco Matt was brilliant up there, wasn't she? The part with the second promise was surprising, but between the two of them, I dare say our new Dawn Servants will be capable of anything. The future of Tuliola is bright indeed. Yep. Earlier in Yaktel. Certainly seem more welcoming now. Change is in the air, and it's all because of our little firebrand. <laughs> Every Ilmer father's daughter, that one. I'll be watching where you steer this nation, lass. With what time I've got left. Hmm. <laughs> Is he really gonna stay in that place by himself? With them also being more welcoming, I would imagine that he could move move a bit closer to them. Huh? <gasps> what the fuck? Oh. Never. Good things can never stay good, can they? Can they? Ever greater, ever brighter. I hate to do it, but I'm gonna have to leave it there. <laughs> you have to leave it on a cliffhanger like that. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm gonna be back this Thursday with more of this. Because I'm gonna give Star Wars a bit of a break because break after last week. Oh that was ama that was an amazing ascension ceremony. Tilia doesn't have Tiolo doesn't have one but two Dawn servants now. One to one to carry the head of Resolve and when to carry on the head of reason. Especially considering the one of reason is gone now, unfortunately. But that's going to do it for today. I will catch you all again on Thursday with more Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Until next time, stay safe and be well, Cybers.